Hello everybody, Idre here, and for anybody new here, I make casual reviews, and they are just my opinion, so take everything I say with a giant grain of salt. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Zayn album, Nobody Is Listening. Bit of background, uh, for those of you who don't know who Zayn is, uh, Zayn is a One Direction fan. Uh, my thoughts. One Direction, what do I think? Uh, One Direction, I genuinely think, honestly gets way too much hate are they the best not even close but in terms of boy bands i think they were one of the more more engaging and more fun just kind of like light-hearted boy bands earlier in the 2010s and well obviously they didn't last too long and now all the members are out doing their solo thing i do think in many ways the solo projects seem much more serious much more well focused than anything that went on during the One Direction days, and I don't have anything against Zayn's solo work, but none of it up to this point has really grabbed my attention too much. I think overall, it is just, you know, alright. I didn't have anything too against any of it, so, um, yeah. Let's just get straight into it. Musically. The opening track is actually a relatively compelling, introspective track that kind of took me by surprise. I'm not used to hearing Zayn and more pop artists that used to be in boy bands make really introspective material, and yet, that is what happened. I wouldn't say it's like the greatest thing ever, it's not the greatest, it's not even the greatest introspective personal track I've heard really at all, but it did surprise me in a good way. The album generally just has a bit of a pop R&B sound to it, uh, like many of his other projects, and sort of the sound we've come to expect from Zayn. However, I do genuinely think that as a project, it's a bit more concise and a bit more well-focused than some of his other material. However, you know, there's going to be parts here and there that I'm not that crazy about. Tracks like Better, while they are well-crafted in their own right, I feel like they come across a little too standard and a little too boring. And what I mean is that they're very predictable. I could tell that that's a song that he's kind of trying to get a hit out of. And I personally think that takes away from the actual quality of the song, unfortunately. I don't have anything too against it. I just feel like out of all these songs here, some of the songs like Better just come across a bit more forced and aren't as interesting to me. Likely, however, Zayn does seem to get a little bit back on track the further you get into this project. You know, tracks like Vibes seem to be a bit more interesting, have a bit more interesting instrumentation without a doubt. And uh, the next two tracks that I'm going to talk about are actually my two favorites on here. Sweat. Sweat may just be my favorite song on the album. I think overall the semi-electronic sound of the track is definitely one of the more instrumental, one of the more interesting instrumentals on this project, without a doubt. It may not be the most, you know, impressive or shocking thing I've ever heard. It's still very pop friendly and all that. But it was definitely pleasing to my ears. I like hearing him change it up a little bit from track to track, and I do appreciate that. Speaking of changing it up. The track River Road is also a pretty nice minimal track with Zane kind of crooning over some nice clean electric guitar tracks. And um, it's just very, very good, very minimal, actually very a pretty well composed track in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, that's really all I had to say because unfortunately I do feel like some of the, a lot of the tracks on here don't leave nearly as much of an impact, but they are far from being bad. They don't make me disgusted or anything like that. I genuinely felt like they were well put together. I just feel like a lot of times the songs themselves aren't always the most impactful. But yeah, songs like Sweat and River Road are definitely some of my favorites, whereas Better isn't really one of my favorites. Production-wise, I feel like, uh, you know... Nobody is listening is produced kind of standard, like your standard R&B pop album. Uh, once again, nothing too shocking there, but it's not a bad production. I think it actually fits. Uh, the way it's produced is actually kind of nice. It's a little bit toned down a bit, a bit more kind of raw and just naturally produced, not overproduced, which I appreciate. A lot of times boy band type artists overproduce their stuff to an extent where it kind of kills it. Overall, my overall thoughts here, I know this is a bit of a shorter review, but overall, my just general thoughts are I didn't have anything that, I didn't have anything against this project. Uh, even though I didn't love it, I don't see myself coming back to this a ton. I think it is a relatively averagely good project. You know, Zane's efforts do pay off here and there. Every now and then he hits a song that I think is relatively impactful. While some parts of this album, in my opinion, may drag a little and might be a little bit forgettable, 
I think on average, most of these tracks seem well-focused and well-composed and well-crafted. And there is actually a pretty decent variety of introspectiveness, a bit variety of the different types of instrumentals. And overall, I think that he definitely did try. And for the most part, he did do a good job. Like I said, though, not my favorite thing I've ever heard. I've heard better pop music. I, 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 it's, I don't love this thing. But I do think overall it was better than better than average. And overall, it's just, it is what it is. I have settled on giving Zane, nobody is listening, a zany 6 out of 10. Now, for anybody new here, anything above a 5 is good, anything below a 5 is negative. So, yes, this is right above average. This is a 6, a little higher than a 5, which means overall I liked it. I didn't love this thing. It wasn't a 7, 8, 9, or 10, but it was good. It was an alright album, you know, above average. And overall, yeah, I think Zayn, honestly, well, Harry Styles might get most of the spotlight. I do think that Harry Styles' solo career up until this point has been probably the most predictable. And I think that Zayn might have probably the most interesting solo work from One Direction to this point. And it's definitely better than I think anything One Direction has done. That being said, Zayn, nobody is listening. I mean, I mean, I was listening. 6 out of 10. It was alright. It was definitely better than my expectations, you know? Above average, that is it for now, and goodbye.